Hey guys, what's up? Seventh Groover here, back again with another episode of the Pokemon Green Nuzlocke Challenge. So last time we left off, we defeated Brock. Sorry about that. We defeated Brock and um, had a little to no issues with that. Also, we did a little bit of grinding, so we're looking uh, looking pretty good. So we're gonna start on this next route, which I do not know, know the number by heart with, but uh, yeah. So let's just get into this, I suppose. Um. Actually, my Pokemon healed up and stuff. Let me make sure they are before like walking something. And yeah, we're good. We're good. You know, I don't want any uh, don't want any issues. So <sighs> so this girl says some random gibberish to me. I'm pretty much used to that by now. It's become second nature. It's a lot like how my uh, normal day-to-day -day life goes, you know, as well. Just random people just walk up saying gibberish to me. I just disregard it. So, I'm gonna keep walking by this random guy. Yeah, the bug types. I'm probably gonna switch on to Pidgey. Yep, let's switch out to Pidgey. A little bird can get some experience. Look at this, Rotata, top percentage, Youngster Joey. So, wow, I really don't know what to talk about right now. Awkward scenario. But yeah, as of today, as I'm recording this, which is September 19th, uh, some new Pokemon X and Y news came out. We got the evolution of Tyrant and Amara, I believe its name is, so that's quite interesting. Um, I think his name is Titantrum, and he actually looks pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. I like his design a lot. Um, if his stats turn out to be, oh, why press no? If his stats turn out to be, you know, pretty well-rounded and pretty decent, I can definitely see him being a huge threat. It's paired up with, like, maybe T like Tyranitar on, like, a team, I guess, like, a pseudo-sand team. I feel like that could be, like, quite deadly in online play and competitive play. So I'm definitely curious as to what the stats are gonna be like. I'm extremely pleased by his design, though. I'm Tyrant was kind of like eh with me, but I definitely, definitely like his evolution a lot more. Cause that point won me over. I'm still kind of like on the fence about Amara. Uh, I think his like evolution name is Amarara, like kind of like the word Aurora, but I, I can't remember the top of my head. I just don't care about that one. Uh, like I said, I'm kind of on the fence about it, so. Who knows? Um, it may actually be like a lot better, like competitively than than a uh, Ty the T Rex one. I just said his name. All right, Tyrantrum. There we go. But eh, I guess we'll see in like a month's time. Actually, like, less than a month. Actually, how much time do we have until X Y comes? That's a good question. Let me find the answer to this while I'm walking. They fight me. I'm just checking my phone. Have a countdown because you know I'm just that excited. I'm just that excited. She has a, she has a rat's head, no problem whatsoever. Um, alright. My countdown timer says we have approximately 22 days, 22 hours, 25 minutes, and 18 seconds until this game releases. I have my set to 11 o'clock on 11 a.m. October 12th, so. That's what's counting down to. I'm not counting down to midnight because it doesn't really count. So I can't get my hands on the game until that morning. So, yeah. You know, there will be people out there as of midnight who probably download the game like crazy. But I don't like downloads. Especially like with Pokemon. I, don't, I like having an actual physical cartridge. It's, not, it's more of a wholesome experience to me. I don't know. I mean, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. So. Ooh, this is kind of a new route. Is there maybe catch a Pokemon over here? I think I might be able to actually. Ugh! This thing looks evil. Freaking Jigglypuff over here. What? How can I use... Hello? Oh, crap. Oh, he disabled it, that's why. Oh, that was an awkward experience. 
Um, let's see what I can find this in the grass. A Pidgey. I already have one, so I can't catch it. Oh, no Pokemon for me in this round, I suppose. I remember you. Your guy says nothing. Now, we, as we all know, there is a infamous Magikarp salesman in this Pokemon Center. Now the question is, should I actually buy this floppy fish or not? The question we might ask ourselves. This is gonna be a pain to train. 500? You know what? I'll get it. So I just bought a Magikarp under the advice of War Dog over here, and it's level five. Um, should I go? Magikarp sweep, sweep them. Uh, so I think I'm gonna go try to grind up this Magikarp, even though I feel like that's completely pointless. So I'll be back in a second. Bye. All right, so I'm back and I did some more grinding and I finally got I. Decided to level up my Pidgey as well as with the Magikarp. Uh, I got tired of actually doing the Magikarp grinding. That's a really awkward sentence. I got tired of grinding the Magikarp out or whatever, and I got to about level 10 before I, could, I just couldn't take it anymore. So I got them all of five levels, but Pidgey was starting to get a little high up there. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try to make this thing evolve. So yeah, but I have ourselves a uh, nice and powerful uh, Pidgeotto. And I pressed something on the side. Okay, sorry about that. And there it is, we got our big bird over here. So, I don't know why the hell I decided to get that magic harp. I shouldn't have taken War Dog's advice, but I'll just continue on this journey with this uh, magic harp. And if it dies, then uh, no skin off my bones, right? So, I'm just gonna put one heal for hitting the Mount Moon. Alright, check my lineup. Put Ivysaur back in front. Serves to be there. Same command. All right, hearing weird, weird noises in my room. No big deal. There's nothing over here. Okay, can I go to the? Guess I can't go to the right then. There you go. I sure leveled up. Cool. Zubat. Don't need it. I was thinking about it, but I already have a f dedicated flying type. And on top of that, they don't have Crobat in this game, which is my favorite form. It's my favorite stage of Zubat's evolution line, so. That's eh, not worth it. This guy. Magic Harp, get some experience, I guess. I think I was talking a lot of stuff right there, and it was kind of annoying. But we shall continue on. God, it looks like a, a meatball with arms. It's just. Oh, I meant to. Oh, I didn't mean to press no. Um. Yo. Hey, look, it's Brock. What's up, man? Oh, that's not Brock. Oh, that's awkward. Sorry if you hear anybody in the background singing. I cannot control these events. <laughs> I'm just a guy trying to make videos for some fun, some enjoyments. So, continuing on. 
Some Team Rocket thugs over here. With their whips and stuff. Doing that kind of kinky stuff. Oh my god! I never, what are they trying to learn? Whatever, I'll tell you how to growl. Oh! Poison powder. But good lord, that thing almost just like annihilated me. I can't, I cannot have this happen. Jeez, have a level 16 Radicate out of nowhere. No forewarning, no hey what's up, no nothing. Man, you guys are not playing around anymore. I don't know why I decided to kill the, the Zubat, but I got 69 XP out of it, so I'm not complaining. Oh, we're getting close to the fossils, that's cool. That's cool. Why did I fight? Oh, I had to fight. I was gonna say, why am I fighting these Pokemon? But they weren't wild. <laughs> I goofed. Alright, can I go inside my bag? Thank you. I don't know why it wouldn't let me. <sighs> and here's a meatball again. Ooh, a Paris. Actually, that sprite's, that sprite's kind of nice. Look at this nerd. I'm um, switching to Magikarp, let me get some XP, and this switch back out to Ivysaur. Oh, I'm out of tackles. Damn it. Alright, so stall you out. There we go. I shouldn't get a good look at that Magic or not Magikarp. Oh, Voltorb's right, there we go. I don't know why I had a hard time thinking about what Pokemon I just fought. Memory is shut. I really don't care about the fossils because, let's be honest, it's just a Nuzlocke. It's not like I'm doing this for like completionist or something, and oh, I'm out. Get a bunny making me up all these things for days. But, um, so that was pretty much Mount Moon. The fastest I've ever done that before, ever. So, that's cool. I don't really like going to Mount Moon, to be completely honest. I mean, it's like cool and all in the anime, but I mean, in the actual game itself, it's kind of eh. I don't really could care less about that. I have no idea what that is. I keep jumping down this ledge. Let me stop you just beat the button for now. Oh, actually, first one is a route. I can catch Sandshrew. Sandshrew, what do you feel? Yeah, you know what? Probably need to pull my for cut later. So, why not? You know what? I'm just gonna try throwing a Pokeball at him. And we got him. <laughs> awesome. So, Kai saw the, uh, the first one on this route happened to be a Sand Shrew, as you just saw. So, that's cool. And we made it into Vermillion. Or, not Vermillion. Wow. Cerulean City. So, not bad. We made some decent progress today. Let me just heal up my pokes. And yeah, so let's take another look at our team before I end this episode. Got a level 22 Ivysaur, sitting pretty well, so that's a decent special stat, pretty decent attack stat, defense is not bad. Got our Pidgeotto, eh, stats are kinda eh, but I'm not worried about that. We have this piece of crap right here, <sighs> why'd I get that thing? And we have a Sandshrew, which I'm probably gonna grind up either off screen or before the next episode starts, so there's our team for now. We're doing so good. We're doing pretty good with this Nuzlocke for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Next episode will be up. No, I. <laughs> I need help. Next episode will be up shortly. Um, check out War Dogs and Sergeant Wolf's Star Fox 64 playthrough. It's actually looking pretty decent. I know those guys are a pretty good duo when it comes to commentating together. So. I know they worked pretty hard on that, and um, they're gonna chop up in the part for you guys. So I think it took them about an hour to do, so they're gonna, they're gonna be like 25 to 30 minute increments. So if you have some time, go check that out. Um, the next episode of the Storm 2 or Storm Boss Battle Rush should be up shortly too. I need to get with Unveiled Eyes about that and start recording that with him. And um, Shadowrunner should be finally doing something. Uh, she should, so I'm sorry, you haven't really been seeing too much of her lately. She's kind of been really busy with schoolwork and things of that nature, so, you know, you gotta prioritize what's most, like, you know, what really counts, I guess, at the moment, so, she's trying to, she's trying to get in the studio to record some stuff, but we're just like, you know, take your time, 
you know, you'll get your chance. So look out for that. That should be sometime either there, might maybe even today, but I wouldn't I wouldn't say that for a fact. But as if it were a fact, I meant to say. But sometime soon, hopefully this weekend. I am still working in the shadows or in the background on my Kingdom Hearts little idea that I want to have for you guys. That'll be up shortly too. Well, actually, I don't want to say that. I just did. So a lot of kinks and things to work out with that, but that will be happening. I promise you guys. And um, that's pretty much it. I'll have to say right now. So stick around for more content, I suppose. See you guys in the next one. Peace.